Look at this nice evening sky. We have Venus high in the west. This is one of the last days for astrophotography in the northern hemisphere, up, here up in the north of Sweden. We will have only a couple of hours of darkness and it will be one of the last days when it's actually dark long enough to make it worthwhile doing astrophotography. Tonight I'm going to try something different, which I haven't tried before. I'm going to photograph a galaxy with a new telescope. If you look at this nice bag and we open it carefully, we see a nice big refractor. It looks like a refractor costing 3000 euros, a big 5 inch apochromat, but actually it's a Bresser Acromat costing only 300 euros. And I will be using this for the first time on galaxies. So let's see what happens when we aim this giant acromat at the sky. Now I put the telescope up, uh, up on its mount. It's a um, Celestron AVX mount. It's borderline for such a big beautiful refractor. You could uh, very well think that this is a big apochromat ready to do astrophotography. But it's just a plain, simple acromat. And to help its front lens, which is just a doublet with uh, normal crown glass, we'll use a reducer. This is a 0 0.6 reducer. And we have a small secret in the back end. It's the it's a minus violet filter. It's the Bader semi apo filter. I use this visually a lot and I use this telescope visually. I actually never really done uh, deep sky photography with it. So we'll put this in the focuser and then add the camera and uh, start balancing. Now the telescope is mounted and everything is connected. I'm going to use a Olympus uh, Micro Four Thirds camera for the main astrophoto camera. It's a small mirrorless camera with a Four Thirds sensor. And we have an AC120 Mini as autoguider camera. And we are running uh, PhD2 on the laptop. It's not uh, dark yet, but uh, it will be in perhaps half an hour or something. I'm doing uh, the focusing now with a button of mask. It's uh, fo I'm focusing on uh, Venus. It's the brightest. Uh, Button of pattern I ever seen. It's a bit hard to see because of the bright uh, rays from Venus, but it, I think it's okay now. I'll do a focus check later on also. Let's look at the auto guiding curve here. This is not ideal. You can see that the AVEX mount is struggling with the big rock factor. It's uh, Let's see, it's about uh, average uh, RMSC 2.27 arc seconds. 